Right, police believe at least two local smash and grab robberies may well be connected and you could actually end up being a victim as well. We're getting answers from police about why stores are not the only victims. Alexa Ashwell explains how you could also end up paying the price. Well, Mark, Katie, this video shows thieves in action, and police tell us this isn't the only store targeted Sunday night. We've also learned that if you're not careful, you could end up with any of these stolen items. Shattered glass litters the floor of the Sprint store at the Green. The store's eye-catching design proves too tempting for those looking to make a quick buck Sunday night. And it's a quick sell for them. The group scores iPhone 4s and even two iPads at a five-finger discount. But the crime may not have been their only one of the night. About 30 minutes later, the Verizon store in Kettering was also hit. Video shows a similar M.O. right down to the glass door broken by something hard like a rock. The cell phone stores aren't the only ones that pay the price. Most times, thieves try to sell the stolen goods to people like you. A lot of people do shop on the Internet and buy um, from different uh, websites and so forth or buy it from a friend or a friend of a friend. Uh, we see that kind of activity quite often where, you know, some people just, uh, when they buy the iPhone, a brand new $600 iPhone for $50, don't think that's a problem. That's a good deal. Uh, but it becomes a real bad deal for them when they go to try and activate it. And it's not just receiving stolen property you have to worry about. Because when that person that has bought it goes to activate it, it's not going to work. It's going to show up as stolen. We wanted to know what you can do to make sure you don't buy one of these hot cell phones. So we asked Beaver Creek Police. They tell us the answer is simply a matter of going with your gut. And the one thing I would just say, if it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. And officials say that not only are these two thefts likely related, they may also be related to other crimes last month. If you know anything that could solve these cases, give Crime Stoppers a call. That number, 222-7867. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.